Science fiction is on the way to becoming science fact with the arrival of this all new Toyota Mirai, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that produces just one type of emission, water. We're here in Toyota's former manufacturing plant in Altona, west of Melbourne, to sample this exotic new powertrain technology. Unlike its predecessor, the new Mirai is not an eyesore. This new model is a dramatic improvement, looking stylish, tidy, well-proportioned. The headlights may not be everyone's cup of tea, however. But compared with some of the eco-friendly monstrosities inflicted on the general public in the past, the new Mirai is downright elegant. The large grille at the front is a shout out to the current Camry. And while the rear roof line, flanks, and even the truncated boot all recall the cam aero styling that was a popular theme for 60s muscle cars, the balanced styling mirrors the new car's engineering. Previously, the Mirai was a front wheel drive. This new model is rear wheel drive with weight distributed evenly, just like the BMW 3 Series. While the motor is located at the rear of the car, the lithium ion battery pack is placed behind the rear seat with two of the three hydrogen tanks between the axles the third one behind the rear axle, and the sophisticated fuel cell stack up front, where the engine would sit in a conventional car. Toyota has a long history of over-the-top display graphics and quirky controls in eco-friendly cars like the Prius. And to an extent, the new Mirai is no different. If you're familiar with the Prius hybrid, the drive selector in the Mirai will be nothing new. But the Mirai does impress with lots of Euro prestige style appointments inside. The big 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen recalls the latest models from Mercedes-Benz and Audi. But for all its high-tech displays and advanced computerised trappings, the Mirai is essentially no more difficult to operate than any other Toyota. As standard, the Mirai comes with satellite navigation, a 14-speaker JBL audio system with digital radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The front seats are power adjustable and passengers are kept cool or warm with a dual zone climate control system. It's a large car, the Mirai. It measures nearly five metres in length, but rear seat headroom is not that generous for adults. And although Toyota claims the Mirai will carry five passengers, the centre rear seat position is for kids only. As a family car of the future, the Mirai is stingy for boot space. At just 272 litres, this large car has the luggage capacity of a small hatch. And the rear seat will not fold down for additional space, as the car's lithium ion battery pack sits between the seat and the boot. This is a car with lots of powertrain components packed on board. The first thing a new driver will notice about the Mirai is just how quiet it is. You won't hear anything until you put the foot down when the air compressor starts to work. And even then, it's pretty subtle. That was a problem with the first generation Honda FCX Clarity, an early rival to the Mirai. But even as long ago as 2009, when Toyota was experimenting with a fuel cell vehicle based on the first generation Kluger, noise was never much of a problem. While the output from the motor isn't stunning, it is responsive and it does drive the right wheels for dynamic motoring. And the acceleration is adequate for staying ahead of traffic. Its performance is about equivalent to a small six or a turbo four but driving a car that weighs 1,900 kilos. One thing about it, the weight is evenly spread, with Toyota balancing the weight across the length of the TNGA platform and a motor driving the rear wheels. The Mirai delivers pleasing cornering ability. The Mirai turns in with that natural rear wheel drive agility that places it up there with a prestige stablemate such as the Lexus IS. The Mirai feels pretty light on its toes, dynamically speaking, particularly given it's carrying a lot of extra weight. It's a credit to Toyota that the company has made this eco-friendly, futuristic science experiment a car that is also enjoyable to drive in the present. Unfortunately, and as stunning as the Mirai is, the technology is still too expensive and the refuelling infrastructure is too thin on the ground for Toyota to sell this car to private buyers. Only 20 vehicles have been imported and the Mirai is presently destined for corporate customers only, on lease. And that's a real disappointment because the Mirai is such a fabulous car. If this hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is the way of the future, bring on 2024.